Sierra together with her families and friends, all of you here today, appreciate your participation in this special moment. To share their joy and to witness their covenant together today. Because today is no small thing. You now have a seat. Having grown to love one another, Patrick and Sierra have chosen to commit their lives to each other in marriage. And so today they will be united as husband and as wife. Marriage is a natural union of a man and woman, a divine institution ordained of God. And when God created life on the earth, he made human beings in his own image. We reflect his image, able to relate and love with him and with one another. He gave us creative minds with the ability to make choices, to develop plans, and to build our lives on those plans. As a loving father, God gave us the institution of marriage and the blessing of family that we might participate in his grace and his love for us. And God made Eve from the very flesh and bone of Adam and united them as a husband and wife, saying, That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to, to his wife. They become one flesh. God bless them. Because marriage is honorable, instituted by God at creation, and hallowed by the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, it is not to be entered into lightly, but reverently and joyfully in the presence of God. Our culture might have its own customs and its laws and regulations respecting marriage, but in the church, marriage is based on the foundation and the authority of God as revealed in his word. Marriage is not only a physical union, but a spiritual one as well. Jesus said, at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, the two will be one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. The Apostle Paul wrote concerning marriage in Ephesians 5, 21, submit to one another. Out of reverence for Christ, wives, submit yourselves to your husbands as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the Savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands. <laughs> Love your wives, just as Christ loved the church, and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing of the water. Husbands ought to love their wives with their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. Marriage is a holy union, a precious relationship that flourishes only with continual tender and self-sacrificial care. Marriage is for love and because of love. Love is the reason and the foundation of marriage. He says, because of the mutual humility and respect that is to characterize all our relationships, this is why we marry, and not least the marriage and relationship of husband and wives. If you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing of the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion that you have, then make my joy complete by being like Sierra, be like-minded. The marriage covenant that you both will make here today, it calls you both to yield yourselves to one another, to hold each other in high esteem, always giving preference to the welfare and to the other in love and unselfish devotion. It is your participation with one another in God's love that will strengthen and protect this marriage. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient and kind. It never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have, and it keeps no record of being wrong. Love does not strut. It does not rejoice about injustices, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love doesn't have a swelled head. 
Love doesn't force itself on others. Love isn't always me first. Love doesn't fly off the handle. Love doesn't keep score of the sins of others. Love doesn't have a swelled head. And love never gives up. Love never loses faith. It's always hopeful, and it endures through every circumstance. Love takes pleasure in the flowering of truth. It puts up with anything. Trusts God always. Always looks for the best. Never looks back. But keeps going to the end. Love never dies. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable, and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith. It always has hope. It endures through every circumstance. As a loving Father, God wants you to experience the richest blessing that He can give you. And I think He's giving it to you right here and right now. Your never ending love and joy for one another. To that end, He has given you, Patrick and Sierra, to each other, this wonderful blessing of marriage. Jesus said, This is eternal life, that they may know you, the one true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. As you come to know one another more fully in the years ahead. And you think you know each other now? Let your growing relationship in this sacred covenant of marriage be continually built and reflect God's unconditional and unending love and grace. Keep this love before you. Hold each other near. And fulfill the promises you make here today. That you may, with Christ's steady presence and help, establish a home that will never fail to weather the storms of life in all its changes. On the night that he was betrayed, Jesus gathered his closest friends, his beloved disciples, his followers, his compatriots, his brothers, his sisters, his loved ones, and he gave of himself to them. And that is what he has done for all of us here today. All humanity, he gave himself to us. And that is pictured in communion. And Jesus, God, the creator of the universe, the creator of this heat, this wind, this beauty, this majesty, this amazing moment that we have together, God created it. And he gave himself to us. He's all in with us. So Patrick and Sierra want to go all in with him together before they say their vows. So they're going to participate in communion. Jesus lifted bread and broke it and gave thanks to God for it. He said, this is my body, broken for you. And so they will take the bread and the, and the wine. By the way,
along the words inside and out of my head, and that you seemed satisfied when I finished. That moment is framed uh, the way that I see us, because I told you that I love you meant that I would put you first, and that I would go out of your way, or out of my way to meet your needs, and that love is active and present. And I stand by those words now. I pray every day that God will give me the strength and the wisdom to love you. you both shall live, to love her, to cherish her, to honor her, and respect her and provide for her. And do you, Sierra, faithfully promise and covenant before God in the presence of all these witnesses to take Patrick and Quinn to be your lawful wedded husband for as long as you both shall live, to love him cherish him, honor him, comfort him, and respect him. I do. So, Patrick, repeat after me. I, Patrick Ryan Quinn. I, Patrick Ryan Quinn. With the help of God. With the help of God. Take you, Sierra. Take you, Sierra. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. This I pledge you. This I pledge you. I pledge myself to you. I pledge myself to you. Okay, Sierra, please repeat after me. I, Sierra Dominique Lee. I, Sierra Dominique Lee. With the help of Father, Son, and Spirit. With the help of Father, Son, and Spirit. Take you. Take you. Patrick Ryan Quinn. Patrick Ryan Quinn. <laughs> 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 to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this, from this day forward. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, till death do us part. This I pledge to you. This I pledge to you. I pledge myself to you. I pledge myself to you. Please join your hands as we thank God for blessing the marriage. Our great God. Our great God, thank you for giving yourself to.
children um, that will fill the Quinn household and that will go on <laughs> that will go on to, to share the love of this family this union for generations to come I pray that they will grow old together that they will pass down your faithfulness to the generations that follow in Jesus name I pray. just a couple more formalities Now exchange rings, which, which are an outward symbol of your love, devotion, and commitment to one another. And Oh, my God. 